Hi, and welcome to another episode of Meat Tasters, where today I have the special pleasure of tasting Sap House Meadery's Raspberry Mead. Now, Sap House Meadery has an amazing reputation in the mead community. Uh, Sap House has Ash Fishbein as their mead maker, and Ash has been around for a very long time, and anyone who's spent any amount of time in the mead community has heard of Ash. He's taught classes on how to make mead at UC Davis in California, and uh, they are just known to produce top quality mead, high, high end. So I, I'm very excited about this. I'm glad you're here with me. And uh, again, this is the raspberry mead. It's a honey wine mead style made with raspberries. It's 15.5% alcohol, still non-carbonated. And um, I'm just super excited. Glad you're here with me. And let's get started. Now, Sap House describes this mead as uh, made with an abundance of local uh, fresh raspberries that are handpicked at the peak of of their ripeness and they're never sprayed with pesticides or herbicides and um, they're just considered super high quality ingredients and uh, ash and uh, sap house takes pride in using only the best ingredients to make the the best mead possible so having said that uh, let's go ahead and take a sniff Wow. Wow, that's amazing raspberry aroma. Uh, the red, uh, ripe, fresh raspberry uh, smell just jumps out at you, screams raspberries. Um, and in terms of honey, definitely get honey there too, uh, which tells you it's a mead. Uh, but I'd have to say it takes a, a backseat to the raspberries for sure. Now the alcohol is not very present at all. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get any alcohol aggressiveness on here at all. So it tells me that it's probably going to be a pretty smooth drinking mead, and uh, it's it's very clean smelling. Uh, there's no uh, flaws that I I can pick up, um, which tells me that it was fermented, uh, made very well. And uh, the, the raspberry, like I told you, is a very fresh smell. And overall, there is, is great balance. There is a little bit of acidity in here that I could smell, uh, but I would expect that from raspberry. So uh, just smells delicious. And I'm sure it's gonna taste just as it smells. But uh, let's take a, a look at this. Um, I got a little little bit of uh, particulate here, probably from the cork. Uh, but overall, it's an extremely clear mead. I don't know if you can tell from the camera because it, it does have like a saturation of uh, deep, uh, semi-deep ruby redness to it. But uh, when I hold it up to the light, I can see uh, that it's it's very clear. So. Uh, there's no sediment or anything like that. Uh, there's no carbonation. Like I said, it's a still mead made in the honey wine tradition. And uh, the legs, the legs are prominent, uh, just as you would expect with a 15 and a half percent mead. So uh, that tells me it's going to be strong, that I need to be careful, uh, not have too many of them or too much at once, at least. So I do get some, uh, uh, sweetness, which I don't know if I mentioned that uh, with the the aroma. So you would ex you kind of expect that with a sweet dessert type wine. They tend to be higher in alcohol as well. So uh, all right, uh, I told you is a ruby red color, uh, very pure and reflective in the glass, uh, which tells you I don't know if they if ash uh, filters this meat or not. 
but uh, regardless of whether he uses finding agents or, or filters, it's very clear, very beautiful to look at in the glass, very elegant and uh, decadent. So, um, all right, why don't we take a sip? Just amazing raspberry flavor just jumps out at you. It's bursting. Uh, you get the honey that goes with it, but again, enough, again, just like in the aroma, it's a back seat. Uh, enough to, to let you know that it's a mead and not just a regular old fruit wine, but uh, just amazing fresh raspberry flavor. What comes to mind is a raspberry pie. Now, I've, I've never had a raspberry pie, uh, so I don't know what that tastes like, but that's what came to my mind when I first tasted this. If there is a raspberry pie, a good raspberry pie, that, that's what this is. And uh, almost, it's very sweet, uh, dessert, uh, dessert mead for sure, in my mind, at least for my palate, but uh, kind of like raspberry candy. Um, that's how, how uh, delicious it is, but, but not that, that candy flavor, that artificial candy flavor that you get. Definitely raspberry, true raspberry flavor. I think like if uh, I, I have raspberry bushes in my backyard and in the summer when a uh, beautiful summer day I go out and pick uh, fresh raspberries at the peak of their ripeness and just have a handful and throw in my mouth that that's the kind of flavor I'm getting here and um, it's just just absolutely delicious absolutely delicious and when it, it hits your palate you get like I said you get that that strong raspberry fruit flavor and as it crosses over the mid palate, you start to pick up on some of that acidity uh, that you would expect from uh, raspberries. And on the end of the palate, you get this little bit of astringency that uh, indicates tannins. Um, and I would think, if I had to guess, that that would come from the raspberry seed uh, when it was fermented. So I don't know for sure if raspberries were fermented at the very beginning, and, but my guess would be that they were, and also that some raspberries were added at the end for that fresh uh, raspberry flavor in addition to the fermented uh, raspberry flavor that you're getting um, as well. So, but overall, the balance is excellent. You have the, the honey sweetness that plays amazingly well with the acid from the raspberries and the tannin and the alcohol. The alcohol is absolutely smooth as silk. Uh, just, there's no, no heat here. There's no booziness here. It's easy drinking. It's, it's scary, dangerous because, you know, uh, you know, before you know it, you'll find yourself a little tipsy. But um, the mouthfeel is, like I said, it's uh, silky and smooth as described on the website. And, uh, I would say it's a medium, medium plus uh, body. Uh, it's definitely not a light, light bodied mead. It's not the, the completely full, but uh, I'd say it's, it's, it's almost full. It's, it's medium plus. So overall, absolutely phenomenal. Well done. Extremely well balanced. Just a beautiful mead. And if you're into uh, wine, if you're into dessert meads, you're into uh, fruit, mellow mels, uh, this is something you're going to want to try for sure. So I encourage you to do that. Go to the website saphousemeadery.com. You can find this mead there as well as a, a bunch of his other meads that he makes. Uh, there's all kinds of amazing type of meads and flavors that are there that I, I, I can't wait to try myself. I have three more that I'm going to try. Uh, and, and have videos for. So I hope you join me for those as well. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope to see you in the next ones. Until then, cheers.